Hey, hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Welcome. This is Kelly Weiler. You are at Girl Upcycled Studio. Welcome, everybody. Um, please say hello when you come rolling in. Um, those of you that are new to my YouTube channel, um, Girl Upcycle Studio is actually located in Ohio in a little town called Zanesville, just about an hour east of Columbus. Absolutely love it when I get to meet you guys. Um, I got to meet two people today, from one's from West Virginia and one was from New Jersey. So, so, so thankful when I get to see your faces and match it up to the name. It's, it's kind of fun. So um, if you are brand new here, please introduce yourself. That way I can kind of get to know you a little bit better, all right? Um, today's project, I hope it's gonna go okay because I was not able to find my painter's tape. <laughs> so um, I don't know, it could be a big mistake. I've got packing tape, could be a big old mess. So you, you just never know. But you know how I roll here. It is what it is. And I let you see all the, the good, bad, and ugly. So hello, my friend Jane. How are you? Hello, Sarah Jade. Hello, hello. All right. So this is a piece I'm working on today. Um, I sold the little brother to the piece, the matching the matching um, set, sold it today. So this one I'm doing a little bit different. So the colors that I've used on this piece are Blue Iris from the DIY Paint Company. Um, let's see, I only have one port in right now. I have more coming, I promise. Um, it should be here any time, guys, but I do have one port left. I hope to have more sample sizes in. I know y'all that have never tried colors like to buy those samples up. Um, and those of you that are artists like to buy the samples up. So I do, I promise I have more coming. Um, the inside of this is white swan, which I love. I do have um, a good bit of the white swan. I think I have a quart in several samples. So I, I'm good on the white swan. It's just a great neutral um, for those of you that like the nice, clean, kind of white, um, you know, that, that color. All right, so what I thought I would do, and I haven't used this before, you guys. Um, I'm going to use lemon drops on this. So this will be the first time I've used this one. And this um, sells for $21. I do have this on my website. So at girlupcycledstudio.com, you can find that. Let me see if I have a banner, maybe. There we go. So you can go to my website right there, and you can go to the Iron Orchid Design Products and find this. Um, this measures 12 by 33 is what this measures, okay? And let me put the comments back up and I will open it up and let you all see what I'm going to do. Like I said, I've not used this one yet. So it comes in these little round tubes, which are nice. And I do ship them like this too, unless you order more products. And this is the size that it is. But I was thinking this would be really, really pretty with the blue background. What do y'all think? Um, I did see somebody use this with like my favorite color, which was old 57 and it was so, so pretty. It looked really, really retro. Um, but, um, I don't know. I just thought it would look pretty against the blue iris today, but I am going to try it with the old 57 sometime. Um, so this is what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to have to cut these out. So I'll be cutting these out. Did come with a little scraping rubbing tool. Um, so that's what we'll be rubbing it on with. So basically, it is just a matter of placing it in where you want it, which is what I'm going to do with all of you. Totally unplanned. I don't have a premeditated plan here. You know, I'm just going to let you watch and um, we'll see what happens. And by all means, if you all have um, suggestions of what you think, I want to hear your suggestions. Okay, so I'm going to grab my scissors. Scissors over here, and I'm going to start cutting this out. Now, the cool thing about this, it has a grid on it, which I've shown you guys that before. So you want to keep the backing on it until you're ready to use it, okay? 
it is a little warm in here today, guys. I do have the air on, but this time of day, it just kind of gets, it just gets hot. And there's not much we can do about it. So I'm going to, first of all, just kind of cut around. Now, some of these have breaks in the design where you can cut around. Some of them do not, but you can make your own breaks in the designs when you're cutting. Can y'all hear me okay? I'm a little bit away from the, from the computer. Okay, so let me show you what I mean. So this one is kind of all connected together, this big piece. But if I wanted to, I could have broken it down right about here. Would have been a good breaking place. So um, I may do that. I'm not real sure. Um, yes, even navy background. Yeah, that would be awesome. Yes, 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 indeed. So I'm thinking, not sure if I want the vines. I'm not sure how I want the vines yet. The top of it's still wet, so I'm hoping I don't forget and put something on the top. Okay, the weirdest thing. I see the weirdest things out my window, you guys. Can I just tell you? So I just... <laughs> So I just saw a man drive by on his riding mower with a wagon and a woman in the back. I don't know. I don't know what that's all about, y'all. <laughs> it, it's, it's Zanesville, Ohio, and we, I don't know. You, you just don't know what you're going to see. Anybody else have um, crazy things like that that just randomly happen in their town? <laughs> So I kid you not, one time I was here and I saw some scuffle going on and I was like, what, are, what is going on? There's a cop out there. And so I went running over and I was looking and this poor old dude was getting a shakedown and he had, they had him up against the truck and I'm looking like that. And then I look over this way on this side of the street and I saw a woman walking a llama or an alpaca, whatever, I don't even know the difference, but she was walking it across the street and it went inside our building and up our steps of the inside of the building. And I was like, what? Only in Muskingum County can you see stuff like that, guys. I'm just saying, for real, only here. See, this is why people stay. <laughs> you just never know what you want to see. So tell me, what is the craziest thing you have seen meandering around? There is somebody in our town that walks their chicken, too, or rooster or whatever. I don't even know what it is. One of those. Yeah. So sometimes you'll just see some random dude walking his chicken or rooster. It's crazy. <laughs> no stories. Come on now, you guys gotta have a good story too. It can't just all be me. Oh shoot. All right. What is your weather like? Are you guys having good weather or is it hot? It's really humid here today. Humid, 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 even with the air on. I can't complain though because the last few days it's been pretty nice and our humidity has been kind of low. So <laughs> I'm always thankful for that. Okay. So I feel like we're good. I can actually even cut this one out. I don't know that I need to, but I'm going to. So, so if I don't use all of these, I can, you know, use them on other projects. So. Oh, we have stories coming in. Hey, girl. Hey. Hi, Maggie. Love it when my YouTube friends pop in. Okay. So, Judy says, a guy walking dressed like a hippie with a boombox on his shoulder. Oh, that's like, that's all the time here. Well, I don't know about the boombox, but there's lots of hippies walking around here. <laughs> Sometimes they mistake me for one. Hot but tolerable. <laughs> is that, or, is that you or your weather? 
<laughs> Hi, Christine. Good to see you. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna quit dabbing here, and hopefully I don't ruin this because I seriously I usually do this with painters tape, you guys, um, and I'm not sure where it is. So I don't know. Now I just heard somebody yell. <laughs> Maybe I just need to turn the camera out the window. That would be more entertaining. I could do my thing out there, my, my, my demo, and then you could see all the crazy stuff going on. Raining like crazy here in Canton. Hi, Renee. How are you? All right, guys, what do you think? Should I do the, I'm gonna pull you closer because we're doing this together because I don't have a plan, so I need your help. It's late in the day and I'm hot and I need your help. So what do you think? Should, should the leaves go up? I'm going up like that. Or should they go down? They probably should go down, right? I think that's probably how they grow, like they're hanging. Am I wrong? Don't know that I've ever seen a lemon tree, but and somebody out there has got to, you know. Now, if you take the backing off like I did, remember I said don't do it until you use it. So I'm kind of doing one of those do as I say, not, a, not as I do kind of things. I'm not taking that off my roll. But, so there's that. Let's just stick a little piece of tape on there and I'm going to pray that it does not pull my paint off. You guys, use, use your painter's tape when you're doing this. going to be good. So I like that one there. Yes, down says Cindy Ray. Thank you. Love the lemons going down. Thank you, Renee. See, what would I do without you? And I think what I want to do is I want to take it, I want to take it around. You know what, I'm just going to go ahead and stick this one on here <laughs> before. So my thought was, this is probably going, most most people, not everybody, a lot of people are right-handed, so I'm thinking that this little stand is going to be on the person's right side so that they can set drinks and stuff. So I probably won't do much on this side maybe a little bit but I want most of it here and I want to have it going across here maybe just a little bit right there so that's my thought for the moment I'm second guessing myself now so now I'm wondering if I should start with No, I'm not going to. Okay, I'm just going to go with that. Any questions? We have neighbors, wait a minute, we have neighbors' cows that like to walk themselves down the middle of the road. Oh, that's so funny. Um, we actually, um, we had, this was so funny when this happened, we had somebody go into the cow barn um, one time. And they had, they forgot to put their gate down on the back of their, I don't know if it's called a tailgate or what it's called, but it's, you know, where the cows are when they're traveling, like the, the travel trailer or whatever it's called. So, um, so anyway, when they stopped and, and then they went to gas again, like the, the, um, tailgate thing went down. And the cows just hopped right out, and they were sitting at the light, and their cows went walking by them. <laughs> and then it was like, it was funny, because I guess everybody was like, chasing the cows, and this was in town here. Um, yeah. So, guys, just to give you a little heads up, I did not put a top coat on the blue yet okay now i know the company iod i know they do say that 
they suggest that, but I, I didn't do it. Um, it just takes a little more, just a little tiny more muscle, but like that's not going to hurt anybody. Like, right? So I'm just going to use a little muscle here and put this on here. Hot. So I'm just going to rub it and then I like to kind of pull and tug at it a little bit as I'm working. And at this point I can pull that tape off. Oh, and thank goodness it did not pull a, it did not pull my paint off. So I'm, I'm super stoked about that. This is called lemon drops. You guys, I have plenty of these in, um, these are so cute. This would be adorable on a lampshade. Tell me if you've used it, what you've used it on. Taking too long to do it. Pat, you may want to not watch right now then. I would say you need to come back and watch the replay. Okay? Because this is real life. It's not pre-recorded. And it does take time to do it. So I would suggest you go watch something else right now. <laughs> Love you mean it though. It is so hot right now. It's it gets really hot this time of day, you guys. I probably had to probably had to do these a little bit sooner look at that it's pretty right have you all tried this with anything yet <laughs> thanks rebecca how are you Um, Rebecca, we could put some of these transfers on your cute little Volkswagen. How cute would that be? Okay, so I had a little piece that pulled up, and so I just put it right back down. Here comes the train. Cute, right? Voila. Cute. Looks really good against that blue. There's no rushing to transfers. Amen, sister. They do take time. And, you know, I don't, I like to play around with the design, which is why I'm showing you and doing it. Hold on, I'm going to grab a paper towel. It's going to be so hot. Usually I work um, where the fan is over me. And today I that looks beautiful with the turquoise or the um I said turquoise iris, that's so funny. Uh, blue iris because that's that is Dion's color is why I said that. That is her color that she formulated for the DIY company. That is so pretty, right? So what I'm doing now, guys, is I'm taking this little, it's a lint-free rag. I always like to use the lint-free ones. And I'm just going to smooth that down. Okay, so let's figure out what else do I want to do. And we can go, like, over top of stuff, too. So you can kind of play around a little bit. Hold on, let me play a little bit. That 
would maybe be nice. I think I'm going to do that. And I don't even think, I'm not going to paste it down. I'm just going to start rubbing it. And I'm rubbing it right over top of this one. Again, you guys, this is called Lemon Drops. These just came in yesterday. I've got plenty of them in stock. And this is, this is just as easy as it goes, okay? It's great with the blue. Me too. I love it too. Thanks, Renee. I've gone through two tubes of the Lemon Drops, and I love them. I like to put them on a picnic basket. Oh, that's a cute idea. Great idea, as a matter of fact. Like I said, um, I wish I could remember who I saw. Oh, actually, I think it was Debbie or Debbie's sister. It was one of their um, over on YouTube, uh, Debbie's Design Diary. I can't remember which of the girls it was, but they did. Um, I think they used Jamie Ray's um, check stencil, and they did like a check with white in the old 57. And then they did uh, this over top of it. It was adorable. Like super, super cute. It just looked like a, kind of like an old handkerchief or an old, um, what am I trying to say? Tablecloth? Like a vintage tablecloth is what it looked like. Thank you, Cindy Ray. Cindy Ray, you make my day. Cindy Ray. And I'm going to go right inside. Right inside with some of this. a little closer very cute yep you watched that one too yeah it was cute that was when they did their marathon they were doing um they were doing stuff every single day i tried that for 30 days and let me tell y'all it's hard coming up with all that stuff it is hard stuff girls Gonna walk on the other side. Let's see if I can start peeling this off. Wait on my sister. My sister's going to be stopping in in a little bit. So, let's see her. And then, what we're going to do. Get into trouble, probably. This is what we do best. Okay, so as I'm rubbing it, guys, I'm pulling it. Can you see how I'm pulling it up? I know, I realize that my hand's a little bit in in the way, but you see how I'm doing that? And a little piece came up, so I'm going to put it right back down, and I'm going to put that right back on. Voila. Okay, and I don't know if you can see, I'm negative, wait a minute, what? <laughs> what do you mean I'm negative? Girl. You're so funny. You're so funny. See that? 
So I'm going right inside those little grooves and, and whatnot. All right. So even, oh, not me, Kelly. <laughs> I didn't know what you were talking about. Did somebody say something? I must have missed it. I don't know. No, that's, that's going around nowadays, guys, negativity. So even this little guy here, I'll keep so I can, like, pop him in somewhere. Somebody's texting me, my sister. Isn't that cute? I love it. I love, love, love. So I'm going to, again, I'm going to grab this lint-free towel. Just find it. Oh, <laughs> that's okay. Everybody can have a bad day, right? You can have a bad day. That happens. <laughs> happens to the best of us. Sorry, my little, little bells ding, ring in. You guys can probably hear it my notification. See how I'm going inside these little cracks and crevices? You want to make sure you just push everything down. Um, you want to make sure it's not catching. Okay. I'm going to step back so I can look at it real quick. Oh, that looks really good. I like it. like it. All right. So I think that's maybe good for the side. I don't know. I may, may do a little bit more here, but I want to get the top of this finished. Um, also, by the way, if you guys did not know this, somebody told me, actually, it's KC from North Jackson Antiques here in Ohio, um, told us that if you save the backings, that... You can use them as transfer paper. So um, I didn't, I've never done that before, but I thought that was good information. If those of you that are out there want to try that. Okay, so I think we'll use these little ones up here. Maybe. And I want to leave it inside the drawer as I do this, okay? We're just going to do it just like this. Okay. And notice I'm not even really, I'm not taping it down, I'm just holding it. Hello, Joan from Wisconsin. Renee says, I didn't mean to jump ahead, but you were going to clear wax, white wax. Oh, okay. Hi, sis. Hi. You how look are you? cute. Thanks. Oh, you want to say hi to the peeps? I will. Say hi to the peeps. That's hi, my girls. sister. How are you? She's the one that does the ceramic art. That's super that cute. Stuff. Isn't it cute? Yes, I love the lemons. It's called lemon drops. Making some lemonade. Well, maybe if it's Lynchburg at this <laughs> point, I'm like sweating. I'm just like, I, I'm usually over under that fan. It gets really hot. But, that's really cute. Isn't it? They sold the matching one today. Not matching. It wasn't the same color, but that the other one that I did. Remember it had the fade out blue. Oh, yeah. Don't remember, did you? Mm -hmm. I figured she was just like, oh, yeah, I remember. It didn't have <laughs> lemons on it, though. No, no, no. It was just... It was there anything on it? Else? blended. Oh, okay. I did a blended thing on it. Yeah, I just didn't remember having anything. So I was just telling the ladies here watching, we were laughing. You guys hear the car? Now there's a car. Car? Is that your car? I was like, now there's a car out there beeping. Is that yours? So I was sitting here talking to these ladies and I was started laughing because um, 
Here goes some guy in a lawnmower with a woman in the back with a with a wagon. Are and she was sitting me? in the back of it. And I was like, oh my gosh, you just never know what you're gonna see in this town. For real. Like never, never know. So then I was telling him about that time that I was watching that guy get the shakedown. And the cops were, you know, frisking him. And then I looked down the street, and there was an alpaca or a llama or whatever going across the Walk street. Just randomly walking going, around. going across the street with a woman, and it came inside the building and up the stairs. <laughs> I was like, okay, well, it's, it's just a Tuesday here in Zanesville or whatever day it was, you know. Just another Tuesday. <laughs> it's true. It's weird stuff that happens. Huh? In the fridge. Oh, yes. Come here, Mama. Come over here. Okay, so here we go. You like magic. Now, I am going to pull this out so that I can. There we go. Cute, right? Huh. Adorable. That is so cute. So I think I'm just going to do a few more. You don't have to clean anything. I'm not. I'll just use the plastic cups. I am. I'm not cleaning anything today. I've been cleaning all day. Um. Renee says, I went to her store and she had a really neat setup and was very nice. Renee, you have to come back and see me. Joan says, I made a lemon stand from an old wooden dry sink stand using lemon drop transfers. That sounds so cute. I want to see it. Some pretty creative people on here, I must say. So here we go, right over the ledge, and you want to just kind of smooth it down as you go around that ledge, okay? Just like that. And we'll go right underneath it. So it is pretty quick, guys. Post a picture. Awesome. It'll be cute with a pretty teacup and saucer at the bottom. I'm going to pick lemon to go in the <laughs> It'll be cute. Okay. So let's see. They're pretty forgiving. I mean, voila. Yeah, cute. Like I said, it's my first time using this one. Just change it up a little bit. I really like it. How much more? I don't think it needs a ton more. I'll have enough to save and use um, elsewhere. I'll be back. Love you and you, you and your store. Love the market, although probably with COVID, it may not be going on yet. <laughs> True. Yeah, such an inconvenience, isn't it? This COVID thing. Like, just who does it think it is? Anyway, right? Really? How dare it? So I think I want it like right there. I'm gonna take the single one. Yes. 
very inconvenient, I must say. Stand it in front of you guys. And then I'm going to take it up underneath again. And I will post it, a photo of this when I'm completely done because I'm actually, or I may even come live while I do the, um, the finishing touches too. So I'll do, um, I don't know yet if I'm going to seal it with a hard coat or if I'm just, I'll probably just do waxes on it. But on the top of it, I'm going to do a, I'm probably going to use the old and gray um, on the top and make it look like weathered wood kind of a finish up there. So I'll probably come and do another live and I'll do like the finished waxing and then the finished um, faux wood on the top so y'all can see that. That way it'll break it up a little bit so y'all can go dinner and all that good stuff. Nice. Voila. And then I just take my fingernail, or you can use a little razor and get it in the little cracks and crevices if you want. Again, with my little rag, I want to make sure it's down really good. But I'm super happy with it. I think it's super cute. And so this is what it's looking like from here on over. And I will post a final picture of it. And then I will do another live showing you how to do the faux wood top. And then I'll do the finished waxing with all of you, okay? Um, let's see. We have some questions from Kay. Do you seal before applying the transfer? And if so, water-based poly acrylic, okay? You, the company that has, that sells the, um, transfers, they do recommend sealing first, but I did not. Um, I've never had a problem with it sticking. Um, their theory is that it will stick quicker and stick better with you know if it has a seal on it but i've never had had any trouble so i mean give it a try but i just want to tell you what the company says that's what they recommend okay um and then she says is polyacrylic okay polyacrylic should be fine um i always use big top i find that there's less bubbles i don't know why when i use polyacrylic i get those little teeny tiny bubbles and it just drives me crazy so so that's what I use. Um, and then sometimes I just use waxes over top of it. So um, Debbie and her sister said on their live that California is shutting salons, churches, and gyms down again. They did that already. Oh my gosh. You are kidding me. Oh. Not Ohio. Yeah. Let's hope yeah, not. not. Oh my gosh, you guys, that's terrible. I didn't know that, you guys. Thanks yeah. for letting me know, Renee. I'll send I'm, I'll send them a little a little message. Joan says, I watch Debbie also, and they are great. They are. I love them. All those girls, they're awesome. One of these days, I'm going to make it out there. Trip to California. I'll take my sister with me. <laughs> All right. They are so sweet. Danielle is beside herself. I, I can imagine she had a rough time, so that's for sure. All right. All right. Thank you guys so much. If you're brand new here, you want to make sure you click subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit that little bell so you get a notification when I go live. Um, if you don't care for the live videos, you guys, I do have edited videos as well. Um, and thanks for hanging out. All right. Bye, you guys. I'm going to go chit-chat with my sis. All right. Have a good night.